Hey YouTubers and Facebook friends, it's me, Mike, and today we are doing another food review for you. Uh, again, pardon all of the planes and everything. It's uh, We're over by the airport. I'm, I'm over here at UNLV and it's, it's very loud. So anyway, today guys, as you can see by the title, I went to the Jack in the Box. That's right guys, they have some brand new burgers at Jack in the Box and I thought I'd give them a try. There's the bag there, uh, serving burgers uh, at 7 a.m. If that's wrong, then they don't want to be right, and, and I like that. So anyway, let's get into this. Uh, you're probably wondering, well, what kind of burger are you talking about, Mike? It's right on the front of the video there, guys. This is what I'm talking about here. This is uh, Jack in the Box's new ribeye burgers. They've got two of them. They've got a, a classic burger with lettuce and tomato and onions and all that good stuff. I didn't get that, though. I, I, I went with their other one, which has a creamy Havarti cheese and grilled onions and sliced tomatoes. And it's got some mayo on it. This is what they claim. I haven't gotten into this yet. And uh, it also has... Uh, get a napkin out. I am outside and enjoying the beautiful day that we're having here in October. Um, made with 100% ribeye. Really jack-in-the-box. Good for you. And it's on a uh, artisan potato bun. I don't know if I've ever had an artisan potato bun before, but uh, let's show you guys what this looks like. Put that right over here. Really? Guys, these burgers aren't cheap either, by the way. Um, there's, there's a look at it right there. With the grilled onions and the Harvati cheese and the burger. We're going to dissect it here in a minute. I found an onion. First thing I'm noticing is um, the top of the bun, the potato bun, is, is nice and soft. Well, somewhat soft. But the bottom seems to be kind of kind of hard, almost like it's been sitting out in the air, kind of kind of stale. I was going to mention these aren't cheap. This was five dollars and nineteen cents for this, and I normally don't spend that kind of money at, at uh, Jack in the Box. I got to get another napkin. Five dollars and nineteen cents, and I'm sure that's because of the price of. Uh, the ribeye that they're using. But yeah, the bun is definitely not very soft. It's not uh, top quality. I don't know if you can see here. Uh, the bun's kind of dusted with some flour. So, I don't know. It's it, Yeah, yeah there's, there's, there's the mayo on top. This is the, uh, excuse me, this is the, the beef patty. I would like to try. There's some mayo on that too. But anyway, let me give a good look at the uh, other than that. Ding, 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 other than that cheese there. Uh, the beef patty is is supposed to be top quality ribeye. It does taste good. Tastes more like steak than hamburger. People and they're flying. They gotta fly everywhere. <coughs> I'll actually be flying back to Colorado in December. So when I'm back there, I'll see if I can do some uh, food reviews back in uh, <coughs> back in Colorado. Anyway, we got the well, we got the Havarti cheese. That's all the cheese they gave me right there. Oh, there's some more on here. Okay, never mind, guys. <laughs> uh, we got some grilled onions. Put this here. There's a grilled onions and some more of the Havarti cheese and the, the sliced tomatoes. And it looks like they've got some mayo on the bottom bun. 
That's one thing I like about Jack in the Box. They always put their sauces on the top and on the bottom. All right. So, these are limited time as well. They're the new ribeye burgers from Jack in the Box. Let's, uh, let's give this a test drive and see how it is. Again, the bun is not very fresh. It even tastes kind of stale. It's a good beef patty. I mean, it's it's pretty thick. Like I said, they have another burger. It's called the All-American Burger. It's got lettuce and tomato and red onions and all kinds of stuff. I think I'd rather try that one next. There's a lot of bun action, and it's not very good. It doesn't taste like a potato at all. Now, again, guys, the burger itself is $5.19. If you want the meal, it's like $7.99. So it's going to be pricier than their other food there. No, I don't know. It's very dry. I'm not really tasting the Havarti. Of course, it is more of a mild cheese with a little tang to it. The beef is okay. I mean, it's a good hamburger. The tomatoes I can barely taste. As you guys know, my rating scale. One, I wouldn't recommend it. Two, maybe I'd recommend it once. Three, I'd be back for it again. Guys, I'm going to be brutally honest with you. For the price of this burger, I would not recommend this one. One star. Now, maybe at your local Jack in the Box, they'll have some fresher buns. But the, the hamburger is very bready. I mean, it tastes like a lot of bread. The beef patty is good. I do have to give... Uh, some good marks to the beef patty. Uh, there's not a lot of onions on here. The Havarti's on here, but... Hmm. Now I got some tomato. Both burgers are $5.19. The All-American and the Havarti Grilled Onion. And the All-American has a lot more stuff on it. So on the next food review, um, the next one I do on this burger, I'm going to do the All-American and see how that compares um, to this one. I can't remember if the All-American has cheese or not, but we'll find out on the next video. This one, guys, I'm only giving one. I don't, it's not that great of a burger, number one, and number two... It's very expensive. Mmm. Yeah. I'm only giving that a one star, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Burger King, but... Burger King? Did I just say Burger King? Get out of here. I'm sorry, Jack in the Box, but... Not very flavorful. Maybe I'm thinking Burger King because I'd rather go there next. They have some new items, too, that I might want to try. But uh, for this one here, the, the ribeye, Havarti, and grilled onion, only a one-star, guys. I'm going to leave a description in the description box 
um, of this burger so you can see what all's on it. And it probably looks better in the picture, but uh, here, not a lot of flavor. Um, thanks, guys, for hanging out. Leave comments if you've had this sandwich and if you've had the All-American Burger, because I would like to try that. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, if you don't. And I don't. This is really not that good. I'm going to finish it because I'm hungry. But I wouldn't even recommend... I would, that, that, that. I wouldn't even recommend you trying that one. Try the All-American because it just looks better. Anyway, thank you guys. Um for uh, joining me for lunch today and uh, hopefully this burger will be better next time uh, it's almost Halloween so I want to wish every single one of you a very happy and safe Halloween and I will see you on my next food review have a great day guys